Hi guys, today's video is going to be on working out your off-season macros. And what an off-season is, for people who don't know, is eating in a calorie surplus to add as much tissue as you possibly can to your body. And the way we're going to do this is by using a calorie calculator. There's loads online, but I wrote it down so you can go through it with me as I do it for your body weight and everything for you to work it out for yourself. And the first thing we're going to do is work out your calorie maintenance to doing no exercise at all. So you're sitting at home, what you'd need to eat to maintain weight. And what you want to do is your body weight times in kgs times 22 or your in pounds times 10. And I'm going to do this for myself. I'm 90 kilos times 22 equals 1,980 calories. So that would be my maintenance if I was laying in bed all day. So I'd have to eat that many calories laying in bed all day to maintain 90 kilos. And obviously people work jobs, people go to the gym. And here we have activity levels from sedentary to very active. Sedentary, I'd say someone who works a nine to five, very active, I'd say someone who's a builder, does a trades constantly on the feet. Everyone will be different. Some of us will be anywhere on this, basically. So pick what's most relevant for you. As of right now, most people will be on the sedentary side because of the lockdown, no one's leaving the house. So just for that video, I'm gonna go with sedentary. So 1,980 times 1.3 to 1.6, and that'll give us a range here. 2,574 to 3,168. Now this is your maintenance calories whilst working your job and training. So what you want to do now is add a surplus. Well, gonna, what, the surplus I'm going to add is 300. Anywhere between 200 and 300 is alright. I wouldn't go any higher than 300. So now we have 2,874 to 3,468. And if you're a beginner, I'd definitely start at the lower end. And when, when I say beginner, I don't mean new to training. I mean new to eating. Because a lot of people train but don't eat properly. And the last thing you want to do is jump straight in on 400 grams of carbs, 200 grams of protein, 80 grams of fat. Just for example, because your digestive system will just shut down. You will not be able to stomach the food. You'll have cramps and it just won't be nice at all. So I'd definitely start at the lower end if you're new to this. And now we're going to break it down into fats and proteins. So protein, 2 gram per kg. So for me, 180 grams of protein a day. And now there's 4 calories per gram of protein. So you times it by 4 and that's 720 calories of protein fat. One gram of fat per kilo of lean body mass. And what I mean by that is just lean muscle, not the fat at all. So you need to know your body fat or have a rough average of what your body fat is. And I'm about 20%. So 20% of 90 is 18. 90 take away 18 is 72. So I'm going to eat in 72 grams of fat a day. 72 times 9 because there's 9 calories per gram of fat is 648. So we have 720 calories from protein 648 from fat and I use both of these to work out your carbohydrate intake so what you want to do is you want to add your protein and your fat up and the number you have you want to take away from the starting range of your off season and obviously if you started at the higher end just because you wanted to you'd obviously take it off the higher end so for me 2874 minus 1368 is 1506 and after every carb there's four calories per gram but instead of times in it this time you want to divide so 1506 divided by four equals 376 and that's it that that's my macro is done it's simple there's no need to overcomplicate it so 180 protein 376 carbs and 72 fats the one thing i do want to say is don't stick to this 100% because it's not always accurate. For example, your maintenance, say you had 2,500 calories as a maintenance. What I'd do is eat 2,500 calories for around 10 to 14 days and keep a food log and match it to your scale weight. And what I mean by that is if you're 88 kilos, you're eating 2,500. If you maintain the 88 kilos, that's obviously your maintenance. If you're lighter, it's a deficit and your maintenance is a bit higher. And if you put on weight, then you're in a surplus and your maintenance maintenance is lower. So it's not always 100%. It just gives you a rough average of where you are at. And when it comes to the carbs in an off-season, they're obviously going to move up. Some people tend to 
have fats higher and carbs lower but i obviously i like to have carbs higher and fats lower just so the training performance is optimal and it, i just feel better eating more carbs and what you can do is uh, on your non-training days drop your carbs down a bit increase your fat and this obviously gives you a chance to enjoy your food a bit more have fatty cuts of meats a bit more peanut butter and you can still meet your calories for the day just because there's nine grams there's nine calories per gram of fat and also if you're new to this i'll definitely take into consideration your meal timings i definitely advise getting up early uh getting your first meal in as early as you can just because you are going to struggle to eat five to six meals a day if you are new to it if you're waking up at 10 in the morning you're gonna you're gonna struggle you're gonna be eating your last meal around 11. and what i definitely do if you're a beginner is try and do some form of cardio before your first meal or just after a meal only like just to walk just to get your digestive system going just so you feel better as a whole and obviously it's not building up and you're just gonna be able to eat your meals better your training will be better and it's just gonna allow you to relax a bit more with it you're not gonna have to force feed as much the better your digestive system the better everything's gonna be and yeah basically that's it that is the off season macros done like i say you will need to work around this a bit if you are losing weight or putting on weight because it's not 100 percent. so definitely keep a food log if you are new and slowly work 